G'day everyone, welcome back to NS2HD. I'm here with Wasabi1 for Twat vs. Potam. You heard that right. This is a game in the round robin stage of the Balance Mod Cup, so it's tremendously exciting. Dylan, how excited are you right now? I'm so excited. And that's all she wrote, folks. I'll see you all soon for more NS2HD videos. <laughs> all right, so both these teams are, uh, they're pretty much ready to go right now. We've got both teams, teamwork and tactics versus hippos. That's uh, the meaning of both names. All right, and uh, I do want to mention that I am uh, slightly adjusting in-game sound, so hopefully that'll be nice for you guys when we get started here. The teams are ready, and we are good to go. Just waiting for them to do the final, let's get this thing underway. It's the final captain. Sorry. I'll, I'll get back in my box. This, uh, for everyone watching on Instagram, this is actually being live streamed on twitch.tv slash natural selection 2 as well, which is uh, a suboptimal viewing experience because Dylan is operating the camera, but uh, nonetheless a good one. What, is that a dog panting? Okay, do you have a dog near your microphone? Why can I hear that? Dude, my dog's like locked in the other room. This is so weird. I, I'm, con I mean, I'm not hearing it right now. Oh, 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 you heard, you heard the skulk in game. What? When the skulks get to their max speed, they start panting. So you can hear them. So if they're using max speed, it's a, it's a tactic to allow you to be ready to shoot for them. Wow. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. Here we go, folks. I'm excited. I'm so excited right now. But that dog panting thing is freaking me out. Any second now, these teams will type ready. And the game All will right. begin. I'm totally ready. Are you ready? I am outstandingly ready, Dylan. I think they're just uh, getting in the comm chairs to start the game this time. So... I have the energy to last for at least three minutes. Do you think no this game comment. will take three minutes? No comment. At all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You know, it, there was like this. There was there was poop on the floor, and I just I went and stepped in it, and it would just it was like pfft, all over oh. the shop. Oh, we're off. Okay, here we go. We're not, oh no, so something's we're voting. Hey, I okay, can vote even though I'm a spectator. Yeah, I know. Look at that. Ooh, I'm knocking gonna, the table. Oh, I'd, I'd push the button, but that's one of my triggers for X button. It would restart the whole thing. <laughs> That would be bad. I did that when I was casting one night. I went, oh, I can't believe I just did that. It's okay, Dylan. I'm here and I'm recording as well. So you can do your usual thing and screw it all up and I will just, I will have it all under control. <laughs> all right, He's so as soon as this me. reset goes in, we are live. Hugh, as my honored guest, would you please do us the honor? Hey, you're my guest. Nah, I'm kidding. All right, we're off. Teamwork and Tactics versus Potam, which means Hippos with a 4-1 split down the south end of the map for the Marine team and an all five skulk push down south from uh, towards Hub, towards Mezzanine from the uh, from the Alien team. I can say that I'm surprised that Twat's going for sort of an all-in tactic here. Um, I think they're really trying to gauge it, how good of a shot the Frenchmen are. Typically, the French are pretty good. And, uh, you know, three-man pressure team into hub while these four skulks wait in the vent here by observation. Oh, Sen is in so much trouble here. He's got four skulks all over him. He's dead, and that extractor is going to go down so fast. It's only 30%, 90% built, and those skulks are going to shoot down so fast. Note this team, very, very clever. They're sending two skulks away because they know they don't need all that firepower. The Marines kind of scattered at the moment, pretty unsure of their positioning. Yeah, Skulk's moving through Mezzanine, getting back into that vent area around there, just doing what they can to delay. As you can see, the alien commander spreading infestation up towards Warehouse. They're building a gorge tunnel or a gorge wall here with clogs. And uh, this is a good tactic to help delay and get some momentum going for the aliens in res. Res is very important, especially when trying to research any kind of abilities. Cleanup happening in Hub. There's an enzyme drop from the alien commander, which is Law. The Marines currently sitting on three extractors with one under construction. Uh, where is that? Oh, it's in repair room, and the skull pack is now moving into said repair room. Yeah, and Ben is in a lot of trouble here. One, maybe two skulks he could possibly take. Three, it's gonna make it really difficult. He did get some great shots in on those two skulks. They're gonna get rid of that extractor, and they're gonna try to clean up, but look over an elevator. We have Loop and Sin trying to get the extractor up over there as well. So starting to spread out again as Marines and capture more territory. 
The pressure down on logistics is going to be a little bit nasty for them. This extractor is going to go down for sure. There's only one Marine close and he is outnumbered and definitely outgunned against these Skulks. They are on low health. He may be able to get a few kills here. Does he realize there's more than one? Yes, he does. He's looking. He's looking. It's tight combat. Close quarters. Can he get the kill off? Switches to the pistol. Oh my goodness, Ben is on fire. Great work So he there. saves that, and at the same time, his two teammates, Loop and Sen, making their way into Mezzanine, where this growing harvester is in a lot of trouble, because these two Skulks have a lot of open space between them and the Marines to try to get in there. This Drifter is here trying to build up and heal this harvester to get it going. Harvester down, Skulk down, two Skulks still alive, and the Marines go down to the Skulk Bite. Pressure in North Tunnel as well by Soul and Spark. Should mention for the viewers on NS2HD, this is being played on balance mod, which means some of the stuff you see might not make any damn sense, and that includes seeing a drifter building a harvester. So there's some crazy experimental gameplay going on here. This is balance mod, not vanilla natural selection too. One thing to note for those of you that aren't familiar with how that mechanic works, growth by alien structures in general is severely slowed down. It needs the assistance of either a drifter or a gorge in order to build at normal speed. So, you know, it, it is a big change, but it's also kind of nice. Hydra placement in North Tunnel designed to ward off any Marines that might come and try and put pressure on warehouse or platform. Platform is a traditionally vulnerable harvester because the long corridor allows for effective engagement of Skulks. Marines have the edge in long-ranged corridors. There's pressure on the south side of the map, but Soul has got that under control. Get it? Get it? It rhymes! Gorge and Skulk here in Mezzanine, able to take down one Marine, but Loop is down here, and can the Inquisitor take it off? Yes, he does, saving both the Harvester and himself. Gorge supporting Mezzanine now with Hydras, and uh, it looks like this is all going to get online. They've also spread into Warehouse now, and they're getting the uh, Harvester up in there. I wouldn't be surprised if they go to Ore. Marines are down at the moment. Um two extractors to no harvesters and uh, but they're still sitting on four active extractors four is a very healthy number and i might be wrong in balance mod but generally you want to keep your numbers of extractors above the number of harvesters so i'd say the aliens are sitting quite pretty in this game they've got four harvesters up very healthy number now dylan explain what this number to the right of the uh harvester count is that's biomass Biomass is accumulated by the alien team through the building of structures or the research which costs team res at the hive. For every level of biomass, you unlock uh, researchable abilities based on the evolution you've chosen for your hive. So if you choose Crag, you get to say Biomass Level 3, X ability is available to you. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Biomass. I will leave it to Dylan to explain that. I am a vanilla NS2 caster right now. And I don't know what's going on in balance mod. But so at the moment, the aliens are starting to put pressure back on the RTs. The use of enzyme to speed the process up is helping. They're going to take down a lot of res. Marines are sitting on shotguns, which are very, very powerful in the balance mod currently. As I said previously, six shells instead of eight. But the rate of fire has been increased by 18%. Twat Mark, Twat Mac, sorry, has got uh, babblers all over at the moment. It's nice to see that play, using that to absorb damage from Marines that might find him. As Dylan's been saying, Gorge is a little more crucial in balance mod play to kidding the structures up. So dropping babblers all over yourself is a cool way to increase your survivability in combat. Speaking of which, he's in combat! Yeah, we got Mello in here against these two Marines while the Gorge is retreating. It's good on Mello. Takes down two Marines before uh, Sen comes into back him up and uh you know the gorge gets away which is a big win for the aliens in this particular scenario we now have been in spark building power and ore processing and even dropping the rt aliens have not spread infestation and have no vision here but in comes inquisitor I need a med pack stack. Ben's calling for some med packs up the north end of the map. Marines putting nice pressure up into the north side. Great to see them up in all processing. Really sticking one in the eye of the aliens. But the aliens are saying, oh, no, you don't. We're dropping enzymes. We're bringing a lurk in here. We've got a gorge with babblers on him. And they're going to shut that right back down and take the north side of the map for themselves. Yeah, the Marines at the same time cleaned up in elevator transfer. RT here is down to 18%. It is hurting. They're trying to pressure mezzanine again. Uh, the, the problem is, is they need to start focusing on where 
you know, where the expansion hive is looking to go and taking down alien res besides just mezzanine. Mezzanine's a hard one to assault. You know, because once you engage, you're really in that area. And they can come in from all sides like you're seeing right now. Note the way Max spat his babbler ball at the wall, thus uh, getting it to bounce back onto him and attaching the babblers to himself. Great thing to do for all you pubber players like me out there. Jetpack research on the way. Holy moly, we're at 7 minutes 15 seconds. We've got jetpacks on the way off one command station. So Dylan, how is it possible that these Marines have jetpacks on one command station? Command station uh, parameters or requirements for the jetpacks have changed. So with one command station, you're able to research proto with an advanced armory, uh, but you can only research jetpack and single minigun uh, exos. For the dual minigun, uh, et cetera, you need two command stations. Um, the other thing is when you get an advanced armory, GLs and flamethrowers are unlocked right away. Wow, so no research for GLs and flamethrowers. Mac, I'm loving Mac's play throughout this United game. This Gorge has been alive for a long time. He's all over the map. He's bar bombing things. He's babbling things. He's building things. He's spitting at Marines. I'm just, I love a good Gorge, and that is a good Gorge. Absolutely. You know, I mean, Gorge play in the balance mod, I find to be significantly more fun um, than, you know, other, other games. Big engagement happening here in Elevator Transfer. We have multiple Skulks and a Fade Up. And it looks like Elevator Transfer is definitely going to the Alien team now. Alien still see on a healthy four harvest. The second half going up. Beacon for perhaps a jetpack rush. Yeah, looks like they're all going to the Proto Lab to buy jetpacks. And we are going to see <coughs> some jetpacking. Uh, much less dependence on the phase gate for this, uh, for this Marine team. And these jetpacks are going to give them great mobility in the place of phase gates. Yeah, so you're going to be seeing jetpacks with shotguns, but they're unupgraded shotguns. I mean, they're still very powerful, but, you know, these fades got to be really careful because the shotguns really do a lot of damage to the fades, especially with that increased rate of fire. You're more likely to get multiple shots into the fades. Marines now entering the warehouse hive where they're no doubt going to want to kill it. Can these unupgraded shotguns with unupgraded armor on the uh, Marines' combat suits deal with the alien defense? We're about to see. They do have armor one. Oh, they do have armor one. I apologize. You can see the crag is walking its way around the room. Because crag... Uh, it, all uh, chambers can walk now. Wow, all alien structures can walk. That's amazing. Yeah, so you can move them. It's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, so, you know, what was four Marines is down to two, now down to one. But look fade at that down. fade goes down. And, you know, that that is a loss to this team. They can T-Res drop a fade, but only at a certain level of biomass. And I apologize for not knowing which level that is off the top of my head. You're fine. So, being down to one fade is not good. Lurks are powerful, though, like I said, with Umbra involved. Twat Mello still out on the field as a fade. And the life form composition for the alien team is still looking quite healthy. Fade, Lurk, Skulk, Skulk, Gorge, Mac died. He's gone and regorged himself. Drifters moving around all over the place, giving great vision. And one dead in repair room. Are they still cloaked in balance mod Wasabi? They do not cloak unless you have gone for a shade evolution on the hive, I believe. Mm, okay. Going to definitely need to do a tech tree video on NS2HD at some point. Extractor going down in observation, Inquisitor and Mellow dealing with that. Uh, two Marines coming in. It, their personal resource situation now not as strong. Note they're not all just buying jetpacks by default. I like that because often you'll see Marine teams start buying jetpacks really nearly. They'll run out of heroes, they'll lose the jetpacks, and then, whoa, that's, that's game up. Is it still 10 resources for a jetpack in Balance Mod Wasabi? I believe it is. It's like, you know, as much as I play, it's like, it's funny, there's certain things I just don't kick into my head. One of the things that you'll see right now is that it's saying um, that uh, Shadow Step is being researched. And people will probably be like, wait, 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 researching Shadow Step? Wow, Indeed. that's crazy. Um, well, Fades by default have Blink. Shadow Step is the research ability now. So it's, it's, it's pretty... It's different, but, uh, you know, the movement has changed a lot, so a lot of people are finding 
that they either really like the way that the skulks and lurks and fades move, or they don't. So everything's just been tweaked a little bit. And Andy has sent me a brief on uh, Balance Mode that goes through all the changes and the changelog and reasoning behind it all. So that'll be posted up on the Unknown Worlds blog soon. And I might put it in the bottom of the SNS 2 HD video when it goes up. The Marines seem to be fighting more and more on their own turf at the moment, though. They're being pushed down to the south end of the map, and as a traditional vanilla commentator, this situation looks nasty for Marine teams. Six Harvesters is a huge number of Harvesters, and it will allow this alien team to steamroll with life forms if these Marines can't shut down some of this resource collection. Yeah, and you know, at that high of a count, they're going to be able to get a lot of personal resources in order to go... You know, Ono's fade. We do have uh, Inquisitor up to 63 reds at the moment, so he could be uh, working on getting uh, that Ono's very soon. Bio bomb out too. You know, with the with the Gorge, and you got a fade Gorge Lurk combo, which is really a nasty combination over here. The Marines really are looking a little bit desperate now. Logistics is going down to Barlom's, a Lurk, and a Fade. There's been a couple of attempts by the Marines to move in there one by one with rifles, and that Fade's just said, nah, -uh, I ain't gonna kill you. And in fact, even uh, Ben and Co, uh, Ben and Sol, are gonna go down as well. Desperate push into Elevator Transfer right now. Don't think that's gonna last very long, though, because if this life form group uh, moves over to the uh, eastern side of the map, they're gonna lose Elevator Transfer. It's an inst or they could just pressure the base with bar bomb right now, which looks like um, that might be what they're gonna do. And you know, I just realized in classic wasabi form. Yep, classic wasabi form. I totally forgot the team names. <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> I didn't. How do you like that wasabi? Command station taking damage. There is a bar bomb on this base. We've got Umbra going down. Fades killing Marines on the infantry portals, and Icard has called GG. Wasabi, that is game one to the unknown Frenchman, the Hippopotami, Potan. Yeah, you know, and uh, this is exciting to see because, as I said, shotguns are very powerful now. Um, even with, you know, the decrease from 30% to 18% speed uh, adjustment, um, they're still very powerful. And I, I feel like that was just an unfortunately failed jetpack attempt. Uh, I think with only armor one and not upgraded weapon levels, that is the biggest reason why that didn't work out for them. But it does seem like this French team is not super shooters. They're good shots. Um, I think these teams are pretty equal in their abilities. I think we're definitely going to see that when we go to uh, the, the second game here. But um, I'd be interested to see what's going to change. Everyone, thanks for watching. That was game number one. And stick around on the channel. The next video coming up will be game number two.